be super duper duper exciting because maybe you can learn a thing or two of what not to buy if you haven't already bought this or maybe we could be like yeah i agree with you i bought that too and i totally regret it or if you don't regret it let me know down below in the comments why you don't regret it and yeah so let's get on with the video but before getting on with the video check out the description box down below i always write cool updates and i always have a whole bunch of links also, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button. Please make it gray and hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified of every time I upload. It's sort of like a little text message. When I upload, you get a little ding, 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 ding. Pink is your team posted. Give this video a huge thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family so maybe that way you could help them and like telling them like, yo, like think twice before getting this uh, i also do have an ebay shop link down below i also have a 25 percent off your first functional beauty purchase so let's get on with the video things i regret buying number one eyelash extensions i regret getting eyelash extensions I got them for my high school graduation because of course I wanted to wake up being like I got this and because my graduation was at 9 in the morning so I had to wake up like at 6 30 to get ready that day and just putting on eyelashes can take from like 20 to 30 minutes for me at that time because I wasn't really good at putting on fake eyelashes so I just really wanted to cut time so that is why I got them and that is when they started becoming popular in that 2019 that's when they got really popular a lot of my friends started putting eyelash businesses they were um getting certified and then they would do like the at-home eyelashes and all that but they were always very very expensive for me personally because I remember when like the trend started out almost everyone was charging like 40 to 50 dollars but then I was hearing that they only last like two weeks okay 40 dollars every two weeks like no <laughs> my nail salon that's by my house they do them for 15 dollars um they're not the individual ones though they're like like a cluster and I asked them how long do they last and they told me two weeks as well so and then they told me that the refills were for ten dollars so i went for my nail salon and okay i get them done i love them they're so pretty they're so beautiful here's the thing <laughs> when i was sleeping you already know i woke up with one cluster less let's be real i wasn't gonna sleep like this all night straight by the time it was graduation i was literally like missing like two or three clusters so like i had like I had a few holes. I regret it because honestly, I feel like they didn't last for me. But now, in 2020, I noticed that like everyone I know who does them, they charge like 80 to like $120. And it's always for the same, only two weeks. And then you have to come and refill. So I'm like, that's a lot of money. And I personally don't ever see myself getting eyelash extensions again. Even though it was just $15, I regret it. Because I thought that I was going to get them more often. I was like, oh, okay, just a $10 refill. I'll get them done like every two weeks. And that's 20 bucks a month for my lashes. But no, they like literally fell off right there. And then it doesn't look cute when you have like the holes, you know? Like, I don't like the sparseness. And it complicates my life even more having to sleep straight. And then like making sure not a dot of water touches them. But then I don't get it. Then they recommend you to wash your lashes. So I'm just like, oh. Next purchase I regret ever making. I regret buying black eyelash glue. When I first started off doing lashes, that contributes to why I would take 20 to 30 minutes to put on eyelashes. Because I didn't know. Like, when I first bought my first eyelash glue, I literally just went into Sally's and I see everyone on YouTube uses the duo glue. And I remember I just was looking at the different eyelash glue options. I saw that there was like a blue and like an orange box, but I don't really, I don't remember the differences or anything like that. And then I remember, I specifically remember seeing one was like in a tube, like a squeezy tube and one was like brush on. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to get the brush on because that's just way more easier. And it's just more like practical to just like brush it on than like tubing it out. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm trying to say? But So I just went for the brush on one. I did not read that one was like came like in a black color and then i didn't know one came in a clear color and i just grabbed the random 
black colored eyelash glue and I remember when I was putting it on I'm like oh kids black it'll just dry down I've never seen a youtuber like a beauty guru like make a little disclaimer saying guys um be careful when using a black eyelash glue never so I had no clue about like the dangers of using black eyelash glue so I remember I just like put it on and I remember like watching on videos people rearranging them so when I put them on and then like, you know, the first couple of times aren't going to come out pretty. Like a lot of the first times are going to come out pretty. You're probably going to try it like 30, 50 times and they're not going to come out pretty. Eyelashes take a lot of practice. So I remember when I was rearranging it, I got like, like black splotches all over my eyelid. So then I'm just like, oh, it'll dry down. You know, it'll dry down. I've never seen like YouTubers have a problem with it time passes it's not drawing down it takes forever to scrape off i mean i guess that's good it takes forever to scrape off that means that your eyelash is gonna be stuck in place so i'm i'm not saying that the dual eyelash glue is bad no it's just that like i regret buying the black one because the black one is very messy i mean i guess if you're doing like a black eyeshadow like black all over eyeshadow like a smoky eye or you have winged black eyeliner it's not bad because like the splotchiness is just gonna like blend in with the black color get it clear because clear dries down clear next thing i regret buying is water slide nail decals okay so i had gotten these bad bunny nail art stickers from etsy like they're they're not sold from him they're sold from a small company i'm not gonna list them down below because that's not nice the nail stickers are not sold by bad bunny no 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 that's like if i were to grab waterside decal papers and then I printed them from my computer and then I sold them to you. They're not from Bad Bunny's brand, no. I saw in the title that they, it said water slide decals. So then I'm just like, I'm seeing that people put them on their nails like in the picture and they look good. So I'm just like, I don't care. Maybe they're gonna be stickers because I wanted stickers. Two, three weeks ago when I ordered them was the first time I heard of them. So I was like, let's just try them out. Maybe they're stickers. I'm like in the back of my head, I'm just like, they're stickers, they're stickers. If they're on the nail, they're stickers. So when I get them, I literally tried like grabbing the paper and like peeling it off and I couldn't. And then I noticed that like she added like instructions to it. They're literally nail tattoos because all you gotta do is you gotta cut out the nail art and then you gotta place it on your nail and then you gotta soak the nail art in water basically like a temporary tattoo it's on your nails and then you slide but you slide it off your nail like you go like you slide the paper off and bam you got your nail art but the problem is that the paper is actually like hard like it's on the harder side it's not like like flimsy paper that you could easily bend so when I was putting it on my toe, like literally like the whole nail art messed up. And then like on my hands, like uh, you have to have it with that like extra firmness. And I was really, really scared because like I said, it's not like flimsy paper. It's like kind of on the harder side paper. Like I was scared that I was going to move it out. I was going to mess up the design. So you're kind of with like that stress. And like I did kind of pretty good. Like I did it on my natural nails to try out. So like of course they were small. So it didn't come out the best. Stickers you're seeing where exactly you're placing them on the water slide. You can't really see if like the sticker design is straight. Since the sticker is facing downwards. You're sticking it on your nails. You can only like accommodate the paper and you can't really like cut to the perfect edge a piece of paper you know so like it's always on the thicker side and you don't know where you don't have really as much control as to opposed to a nail art sticker another purchase i regret is getting a jumbo curling wand because i remember i was getting older i was uh, getting to my sophomore year of high school and then like the curly hair trend started coming again but I would never ever leave home with my hair down like this. But like a lot of girls started to like subtly adjust to the curly hair, not by letting their natural hair loose, if not by getting like a curling wand. Okay, so my hair was really short throughout high school because my hair got really long when I was a senior in high school because I started taking biotin pills and it made my hair grow like 
So I remember I was like, oh, I don't want to get like super tight curls though because uh, my hair reaching up to here with curls would be like up to here and I did not want that. My intelligent booty got a really, really big hair curler. Like, when I'm saying big, I'm saying the jumbo two inch one. I wrap it around, boop, boop, like three times I think it was. So I'm like, I'm gonna get like, from like the root because remember it's like really big and my hair is short. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have like three spirals. One, two, three. When I let go of the clamp, nothing curled. I was like. Okay. It was like literally like just one big wave. Like I just went like, whoosh. I literally bought this for $15 for it to not work. I think a blow dry literally gives you more curls than a two inch curling one barrel. Maybe it would look a bit more curly since my hair is long now, but before with my short hair, like it literally did nothing. Next thing I regret is renting a movie instead of buying it. Because you guys know with the pandemic, movie theaters are closed. You know, you guys know how like the on-demand movies are like a thing now. I remember that the first movie that came out was I think Trolls and then the second movie that came out on demand was the movie Scoob. So I rent the movie. Well, my parents did. The rent was $20 and then the purchase was $25. And now that I think about it, I'm just like, for $5, I could have just kept it, you know? Like, you know, you, you like kind of like think about it, you're just like, okay, should I just rent this for $20? Because that's what it costs, the rent for 24 hours, or should I buy it and like keep the movie forever for an extra five? Don't get me wrong, $5 does a lot. You could literally buy like a whole meal, or you could buy like a shirt at the store with $5. You could buy like eggs, bread, milk with five dollars you get five things at dollar tree and i regret not buying it i guess it was more like a little rant with myself for being like why didn't i click the buy option for 25 for five dollars more yeah yeah why didn't i just keep the movie for the rest of my life instead of just like having it for 24 hours only for five dollars us next thing i regret buying is a selfie stick when it came out. Because when the selfie stick came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was probably like 12 or 13. I didn't have a phone. I didn't know how to work a phone. I didn't know how to use self timer. Using a selfie stick was really hard. You can't even use a selfie stick at Disney. So I'm just like, what's, what's the point of this? And you can't use it as a tripod either because it's just like one stick. You can't really like stick it onto something, you know? I mean, now I understand that like there's some selfie sticks that are like even remote controlled or like even your phones come with like a little remote now. I feel like since I already have like my tripod, it's kind of like my selfie stick and when I want to take pictures of myself, like I just do it by myself with my tripod because my tripod has a ring light. Next thing, it's... Hmm, there's a controversy with this. I do not like buying books. Because I see it this way. I'm like, why am I going to buy a book when there's a library? Like a public, my county library. There's exceptions. For my birthday, I asked my parents I wanted the new Twilight book. And that's, that book is really big. I know that I'm not going to read that book in like three weeks. I'm not saying that I never buy a book. Or there's simply some books that they're just harder to find in your library. I wouldn't remember when I was little. My parents had... I'm, I'm gonna applaud my parents on that. They always supported my love of reading. They always like encouraged me to read and read and read and read. So I would read a lot as a child. And like my parents put a lot of money on books. And the thing was that where I grew up, there wasn't a library where I live now. I, I live in the same city. I've only ever lived in two places in the same city. And, and it's because my parents finally bought a house and like back before my parents were at an apartment and where i live now there's like a county library where i live but like where i grew up in the apartment area there wasn't a library i still have my books from when i was growing up and that's what i'm saying it's like you're just gonna read it like once or twice in your life and you're never really gonna read it again unless you really like the book but like not many people will do that like say like oh, i'm gonna reread the book because i really liked it you know i don't think there's someone that's re reread the same book like 20 times no so let's get on with the next product I regret buying. I regret buying 
Okay, this is gonna sound so silly, but like I regret buying a soda at Disney. If you ever go to like a theme park, if you ever go to like any theme park, you know, movie theaters, all that, buying just a Coca-Cola is so... A soda there and like any like touristy place costs like $5. I'm gonna pay five dollars for a coke when I could literally go to Dollar Tree and get like one coke bottle for a dollar or when I could go to Walmart and then get like a pack of 12 for like four dollars. I do not understand why like theme parks overcharge for like beverages or popcorn as well. Oh my lord. They literally try to sell you like popcorn for like seven dollars in theme parks. I mean, I get it if it's like a food that I've never tried or that they only specifically sell like in Disney or like it's like really good. I'm going to be like, okay, I pay the $7. But to drink Coke or a Coke product or to eat popcorn for $7 when like literally not even the box of popcorn at Walmart costs like what, $3? Yeah, no. <laughs> now, I'm the type of person that goes to theme parks. I prepare my sandwiches. I prepare my Capri Suns. I put them in my in my backpack. And then whenever I'm hungry, I'm going to sit down at the park and I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> I'm not going to pay. Oh my goodness. My grad bash at Universal, I think, that I paid like $15 for a really small like milkshake, like a frosty um a hamburger and fries so yeah i think we made it to the end of this really random video because i feel like a lot of these things that i mentioned were very random and you weren't probably expecting for me to mention them so thank you so much for accompanying me on this little rant video because i would say this was like a like a rant video of me complaining about prices <laughs> and so i'll see you very very soon my mermaid corn if god permits god bless you take care Bye.